Pistols are typically a category of weapon in Fortnite that really go forgotten about, but we have seen many pistols that can often stand with the best ARs, snipers, shotguns, etc. And in this video, we are going to look back at some of those pistols that stood above the rest as the best pistols of all time. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on this video. Use code TIEFRIES in the Fortnite item shop if you would like to support the videos that I make here on YouTube. And let's get right into this. Right away, we're going to start with the Mammoth Pistol. I think there's a very valid argument here that the Mammoth Pistol could potentially be the best pistol ever. And this is a high caliber pistol, right? Uses heavy bullets. It's a big time shot. It's basically a sniper in a pistol form. With a headshot in certain rarities, you are doing upwards of 190 damage plus. It's that strong. But you have to be extremely accurate as you only get one shot before you have to reload and then you can shoot another one. And this is an example of one of those weapons that in the right hands is absolutely dominant. I mean, in my opinion, this thing absolutely plagued chapter four, season three. It's literally a pocket shotgun in some categories, even a pocket sniper. It's it's just like that. But obviously this is a high risk, high reward weapon. You miss that one shot, you could be in big trouble, but if you hit it, you're doing 100 damage plus in most rarities or really closer to 90 damage plus on a body, but you get what I'm saying. This weapon was tuned short after its launch. The headshot multiplier was actually decreased from 1.85x to 1.75 times, and they also increased the damage fall off distance. There is going to be no surprise that that is on this list. Everybody in my comment section is always telling me how the Mammoth Pistol is not only one of the best pistols of all time, one of the best guns of all time. Again, it is a high risk, high reward weapon. We have all been there in chapter four, season three, getting absolutely eviscerated with this pistol. Next, let's talk about a weapon with a long history. That is the hand cannon or better known as the Deagle. And of course, there is a time in Fortnite history where this was the best weapon in the game. If you guys remember, it got a huge buff to its damage to structures and it could one shot, just like the heavy sniper, just one shot walls. You could jump into anybody's box. It is not like that anymore, but it is still a very strong pistol. I mean, seriously, Pump Shotgun Deagle is one of the most satisfying combos to use. And of course, we just saw the Deagle come back in Chapter 5, and you can add attachments on it, which makes it pretty cool. Similarly to the Mammoth Pistol, this is a high caliber pistol, right? It uses heavy bullets, it's a big shot, slow fire rate, but really satisfying to use and really rewarding if you do hit that shot. It is a legacy weapon in Fortnite history. Everybody knows, and most people love the Deagle. And of course, while it's not anywhere near what it used to be, it is still a very very solid pistol and in my opinion deserving of being on this list. And speaking of weapons that absolutely deserve to be on this list, we got to talk about the tactical pistol from chapter 4. In my opinion, one of the best, if not the best pistol ever. I'll be honest with you, I do not see this weapon getting enough love. This is a criminally underrated weapon from chapter 4. And I think it's just because it gets kind of overshadowed, especially in chapter 4 of season 1 where you had very strong weapons, thunder shotgun, twin mag SMG, shockwave hammer, like there really wasn't a spot to carry a pistol, but you could could absolutely use this in your AR slot for sure. And there's also plenty of pistol augments that make this thing so much better when you pair them with it. And there was even an augment that would just drop you a mythic version of this pistol, which was incredibly strong. This pistol is also a fully auto pistol, which we don't really see a lot of in Fortnite. And even though it's fully auto, it has a very tight bullet spread. I mean, it is basically like using an SMG. Very quick first shot accuracy, very low bloom, and really solid damage. I think the Mythic version was doing like 29 damage, if I can remember. I mean, remember here, this is a fully auto pistol. Doing 27, 28, 29 damage is incredible. It could be used at medium to long ranges as well. It was just like that. I think the gameplay will speak for itself, and I think it should be in contention for one of the best pistols ever. I'll also, total side note and unrelated, this thing sounds so crispy. It just sounds like crunchy. This thing was amazing. Please bring back the tactical pistol. But next, we got a fan favorite pistol, something that everybody watching this video is going to expect to be on this list. So here it is. That's the flint knock. This is another Fortnite iconic weapon. One of the weapons when you think of Fortnite, this is one of those weapons that you think of. And it's an incredibly unique weapon. I'm sure I don't even have to explain this. Everybody watching this video probably knows, but the flint knock pistol would shoot you flying backwards when you would shoot it and it would do the same to your opponent but if you crouched you would basically mitigate that whole flying back effect and of course you can save yourself from fall damage this is also the third pistol on this list which uses heavy bullets 
and definitely another example of a high risk, high reward weapon. It does big type damage and you also have the ability to send people flying off of structures and save yourself from fall damage, but that all comes at a cost with a really slow reload speed. If you are in a box with somebody or in an active fight with somebody and you shoot this and you miss it, you can basically put it in your pocket for the rest of the fight because you're not going to have time to reload it. But besides the actual numbers and stats, it is just a fun weapon to use. There's so many fun trick shots, so many fun plays that you can make with this. It's almost like having a pocket impulse rifle really. It is truly a fan favorite weapon and for a great reason. While I don't think it's like an incredibly outstanding pistol, right? I mean, I think we have seen better pistols on this list already. I think the fact that it is so versatile and can be used for so many different things definitely means that it deserves a spot here. And it is a very solid pistol. Don't, don't get that twisted. Next, we have the only exotic weapon on this entire list and that is the Shadow Tracker Silence Pistol. And this is an example of a pistol that just does everything great. It's not like the Mammoth Pistol, right, where it has incredible damage, but really slow fire rate and uses heavy bullets. Or the Flint Knock, where it's one shot again, you have to reload, takes a long time, it's basically hit or miss. This weapon is the opposite of that. It does everything so well. Of course, in its current state, it is a fully auto pistol, but it wasn't always like that. It is suppressed, which is always a benefit, and especially in Chapter 4, Season 3, in that dense jungle, the ability to mark anybody that you shoot, have that little red mark above their head was super, super helpful. And just like the Flintlock, this is another weapon with a ton of utility. It's not just used as a damage dealing weapon, but also recon as well. Similarly, of course, to the Flintlock and its ability to save you from fall damage and mobility. But even with that said, the damage is very solid. At 29, you are doing the same damage as the Mythic Tactical Pistol with a higher DPS at 196. It also has an incredible reload time at under a second and a half. This is just a really solid do-it-all weapon. It's very accurate, very very little bloom, and as I previously mentioned, you not only get the solid damage, but also the marking recon ability for everybody on your team. This is a fantastic pistol. And as you guys know, I do like to try and throw one controversial pick in every single video, and for this video, that's just going to be the dual pistols, the base dualies. Not to be confused with the hop rock dualies, those will not be on this list. Mainly because I actually feel like the hop rock ability, while it is good, can save you from fall damage, decent mobility, I do feel like it actually messes up most most fights than it does actually help me, if that makes sense. Also, not to be confused with Deadpool's dual wield hand cannons, those will not be on this list either. These are another example of a pistol that really rewards accuracy. Of course, every weapon does, but you see it exaggerated here with the dual pistol. The legendary version does 44 damage for each pistol, right? So of course you shoot it akimbo, you shoot the right one, shoot the left one, and then there's a little delay and then you can shoot again. So even if you're able to just mix one headshot in there, you're going to do over 120 25 damage, even more than that with just one headshot, obviously pending that you hit the other shot, right? I feel like the dual pistols are such a satisfying weapon. I remember when they were introduced all the way back in, I want to say season five. Don't, don't quote me on that though. Season four, actually, I just looked it up. Of course I was wrong. I think they are really good weapons, but again, another high risk, high reward weapon, right? Like most people would probably prefer to just take an SMG over this weapon. But again, in those close to medium range engagements, if you just shoot two, three, three bursts, you could easily kill somebody. It's a tough weapon to use, I won't lie, but can be extremely rewarding for those who know how to use it. And for my final pick of this video, it's going to be a little bit of a cheap pick here, but that's the purple and legendary pistols, specifically the one that was introduced in chapter two, season one. And this is an interesting one because of course the common through blue pistol is okay. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but I feel like it takes a huge step up in this purple and legendary version. Specifically in my head, I remember it in the first couple seasons of chapter two. This thing was actually unbelievable and I vividly remember getting outgunned at assault rifle range with this pistol. And if I remember correctly, this is actually a semi-auto pistol but has the exact same DPS as the shadow tracker pistol at exactly 195.75 damage. If you are able to mix in one, two, three headshots in a gunfight, it actually will give you a higher DPS than just the regular assault rifle. It's funny actually because I was looking on the Fortnite wiki before I made this video and it actually said like the epic and legend legendary pistol can be used as an assault rifle. It has really good accuracy and almost the same DPS as just the regular M4, M16 assault rifle. Again, it is a really solid pistol, just like the Shadow Tracker. It does everything well, close range, mid range, even long range. It has a very quick reload time, again, at like 1.25 seconds. And again, while it does have a lower DPS than, for example, most of the SMGs, it can be beneficial due to better range than most of them, higher damage than most of them, and faster reload times, along with first 
shot accuracy, that type of stuff. So this could be used in any situation. If you ever use this weapon, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think it deserves to be here. And yeah, guys, that is my list for some of Fortnite's best pistols of all time. Let me know in the comments section if you like this video. Be sure to go check out my video where I look at some of Fortnite's worst pistols. And if you guys would like to see me rank every single pistol, I can absolutely do that as well. But guys, with that all being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.